Hello, my name is Sarah Noggle. I am a student at Virginia Tech studying in clarinet performance. Today I will be talking about articulation, specifically on air that you need to use behind articulation in order to achieve the same sound that you get when you are doing legato tonguing or just slurring notes. In order to do this, you need to focus on using fast air and more of it. This is because when you get shorter notes, the tendency is that they will become dead sounding, there will be a not as much color behind them, and the sound just will not have the same quality as when you are slurring or using legato tonguing on other notes. So to facilitate this, an exercise that you can do is pretty much a long tone exercise. What you will do is you will do eight beats, long tones total. For the first four beats, you will be doing your quote unquote normal air. This is your normal air stream that you use when you are just legato tonguing or slurring. It's a beautiful sound, but it's no more than, it's not as much effort. And then for the second four beats, you will be applying faster air and more air. To do this, you wanna push from the bottom of your diaphragm and just get faster air. So it should sound something like this. And you should be able to hear a little bit of a difference when you're doing this. The second part of this exercise that you want to do is you want to add tonguing in. So what you're going to do, you're going to play the first four beats the same as you have been with your normal airstream. For the second four beats, you are going to tongue, but you're going to use the same fast airstream that you originally practiced without tonguing. The ultimate goal is to get the same quality of sound when you are using legato or slurred notes as when you are doing staccato notes. Another aspect to discuss when you are doing articulated sections is what syllable you need to use. Most often the syllable that we're introduced to with tonguing is ta or t. This isn't always the best syllable to use for everyone. It varies from person to person. This is something that you will have to practice with, work with, and find out what works for you, what allows you to get the best sound, the most clean sound when you're tonguing. For me personally, I use D, 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 D. This gives me, I think, the most quality of sound when I'm doing staccato tonguing. It might vary from other person, but you just kind of have to work with it and figure out what works for you. Um, another thing you have to think about when you're articulating is um, where your tongue is on the reed. What you typically want in your sound in, when you're doing this is you want to have the tip of your tongue touching to the tip of the reed. Um, a lot of people might think that they're doing this and it turns out that they're not. So a good exercise to do or something to do in front of a mirror is to put the mouthpiece into your mouth like you normally would. Touch your tongue to the reed how you normally play when you're tonguing and then remove the mouthpiece from your mouth to check and see if your the tip of your tongue is actually what is touching the tip of the reed. So like this. And you should be, it should be on the very tip of your tongue. So this is just kind of a good check to use for yourself if you find that you're using more towards the middle of your tongue.